concerns Fine Gael. Fine Gael informed us this afternoon that Fine Gael TDs would not be participating in the people's debates we were planning in all 40 constituencies around the country, even though we met every single reservation they previously expressed, including not having prospective candidates on the main panel, not featuring on the people's debates of TDs audit undertaken by the political staff of the Irish Times. We'll do that anyway on the Tonight programme. And they also sought uh, to, they were worried about the audience, and we said we would uh, afford all the main parties uh, 40, uh, 20 seats each in the audience. They uh, instead wanted us to cancel the people's debates and hold debates around the country at various locations and on topics that they suggested. They complained we were letting members of the public to rock up to these debates and that no ordinary people had participated in the winter debate that was broadcast last night. They also said that normal people do, do not participate in such debates anyway. They said last night's programme was a farce for it was used by politicians to throw shite at each other. That is their words, by the way. In an email, in an email this evening, they said to the uh, two people from our programme, we Barry, the executive producer, and uh, Daniel Murray, one of the producers, that uh, said that it was lovely to meet them that afternoon, and said that, unfortunately, the format of these constituency debates, as demonstrated by last night's programme from Wicklow, continued to ensure that the focus is on an election which has not been called and is 15 months away. We're, they said they were happy to consider participating in election debates at the appropriate time. We look forward to our continued participation in the Daily Tonight programme with Vincent Brown format to discuss the de and debate issues of the day, which members of our parliamentary party do on a daily basis across national and local media. We just want to make a few points clear. The objections raised today were novel. We had met every one of their earlier objections. We withdrew invitations to prospective candidates and constituencies to participate on the main panel. We withdrew a proposed feature, uh, the, the proposal to feature T, uh, TD's audit on the, uh, uh, on the people's debate. Um, and, uh, the, uh, and the tonight pro, I, 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 we said we were offering, as I said earlier, each of the main parties 40 seats in the um, in each of the debates. Um, however, we will not be dictated to by Fine Gael or any other party on how we structure our programmes, where they take place and who should participate. And as for raising the prospect of the next election, how is it that they are happy to participate on the Tonight programme when we regularly raise the spectre of the next election, as everyone else does? Before Christmas, they had agreed to participate in these debates, provided we cleared up a number of issues about the audience, ensuring a fair balance of the programme, and information on topics. We dealt with all of those issues and all of the topics, uh, and on the topics, topics issue, we said that while obviously there would be difficulty in anticipating what topics would emerge in the people's debate, we said we would give them indications of possible topics. We are planning for these debates to go ahead in all 40 constituencies with or without Fine Gael TDs or for that matter any other TDs or group uh, of other parties or groupings. These are people's debates and the essential point is uh, of this exercise is to give people all around the country an opportunity to participate in the national debate on where our country is going. Wherever un imbalance there is in these debates will not be of our doing, it will be the doing of Fine Gael and of any other party that declines to participate. On tonight's programme, 